<laughs> good morning. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to today's video. Sam just said the rudest thing to me, you guys. It's so rude. So last night we were at riding lessons and Gabby was the only one and um, I was alternating between filming and messaging somebody on my phone, somebody that needed me on my phone. So I somehow put my phone on the bench while I was while I was filming and walked away without it. But then all of a sudden, out of the blue, Elizabeth showed up. So we ended up staying and spending time with her and watching her ride. And I went back in to sit down on the bench. Huh, there was my phone. So I just said to Sam, you know what, Sam? I almost lost my phone, left my phone at the barn. And you know what he said to me? What did you say to me, Sam? I'm gonna have more free time and do nothing. You'll have more free time because <laughs> He thinks I'm on my phone too much, but you know who's really on their phone too much? Gabby. <laughs> yeah, Gabby. But mostly Sam. Sam and Gabby. He's on level like 2,000. Gabby and Sophie. Sophie and I are always out doing stuff, being busy, but not. But Sam and Gabby could sit there for hours and just relax and be on their phone. So that is calling the the kettle black for sure. But anyway, welcome to today's video. Pouring rain. Pouring rain hate this weather. Hey, anyway, welcome to today's video. Today we are driving Gabby into school a little bit later because she has exams and she doesn't have to be there till till noon. But wait, I have to tell you guys something really fast. So I'm always like reading stuff, reading on goat forums and horse forums and I'm always learning. Every single day I'm learning new things. And right now because we're getting close to the birth, I'm doing a lot of reading on the goat forums and I read this story a couple of days ago. Listen to this story. So this lady said that her goats got out and they went to the next door neighbor's yard and they went up on his deck and another neighbor saw the goats, these are just young goats, come screaming running from this neighbor's deck. So they came running back, the guy at that house that they went on his deck poured gasoline all over their face and all over their head. It was in their eyes, in their mouth, in their nose. And they just came screaming the lady got them and she's like freaking out she's like oh my gosh like my neighbor threw gas on my goats she had to bath them a million times she was like asking what can I give them people were like giving suggestions on what to do to like detoxify them and and it was like shocking like I was reading this poor lady's post about how like her goats were screaming it was burning them and she couldn't get it off fast enough it's like freezing cold outside and she like this awful and um, so another neighbor saw them come running from that man's house and they called the police and said like this guy threw gasoline on my young young goats like one year old goats and, and let's face it goats are babies forever so they're all like babies but anyways the police said oh well you can't prove it so there's nothing we can do I'm like oh my gosh are we really like still at that place like Go talk to the guy and say, hey, just in case it was you, you're not allowed to throw gasoline on goats. So everybody was saying like phone animal welfare because they're the ones that are more in charge of that. Like the police don't really take care of that kind of stuff. So phone them. So hopefully they did because animal welfare is our amazing people. The people who work for animal welfare are always like the kindest, hearted, most loving, amazing people. So anyways, I was talking to my sister about it and I like almost cried reading this post and I was like sick to my stomach because I can't even imagine it. So I was telling my sister and she said like stop, I can't even hear it anymore like because she's the same. And then she said that her experience being an animal control officer, so she's the person that goes to somebody's house if there's a complaint, if somebody makes a complaint against somebody's animal or like your dog's not tied up or your dog's running free or your dog attacks somebody or like anything like that, she's the person that goes. She, then she told me like out of all of her years working in animal welfare, the biggest trend, like the biggest complaint, the biggest issue that she has and that people have is that people with animals don't control them. Like they, people just get so frustrated, she said, because they have like goats on their property that they didn't even ask for and people that own the animals are so self-righteous about it they're like so it's a goat he's just got free like our, our goats would only get on the road one single time and then it would be fixed if your animal leaves your property it's your fault should I should somebody pour gasoline on them no <laughs> Definitely not, but it's definitely obviously the home the goat owner's fault that the goats are running at large But still it was such a sad story, but I'm curious what you guys think weigh in below and tell me what do you think? Do you 
think that the homeowners have any responsibility or the goat owners have any responsibility in this story at all or do you just think that the guy who threw gasoline on them is the one to blame which he is to blame everybody knows that but look at this thing all right so we we're out shopping and we found this robot washing the floor isn't that crazy if you stand in front of the blue light that's on the floor it stops that's so funny stand in front of the blue light you see the blue light on the floor Uh oh, and this is the time it doesn't stop. Oh, it's going around her. Okay, we are home, and we're supposed to be shaving our goat's udders today. I just don't know if it's gonna happen because one, we shopped all day. We shopped all day. I bought some new kids' toys. You guys know how I have this little bucket over here with all the toys that I keep for my grandkids? Well, I got some new ones to replace them with. All right, so Sophie is already putting together one of them. I got a two-layer cake from Melissa and Doug, which is so three layer. And then it looks like it's it, like two. Is that what this is? Yeah, that's a, whoops. That's three layers. Yeah. But anyway, so we got a little cake for them to bake. I want to get another little kitchen. I want to set up like a little area that's better for them to play. Because when they're here, it's hard when they just have like the same toys all the time. Anyway, I just wanted to get more toys for them, but I want to show you what else I got today. I got two little turtleneck sweaters in this color. It's like a blush color. It kind of looks beige in the car in the camera, but they're like a blush color and they will keep our goats so super warm. So I got two of those. Our baby goats, because I have a few other sweaters. I just want to make sure I have enough. I don't think we're going to get more than four goats max, but I just want to have like a lot that I can put in my little kit so that I um, make sure that I have what I need to keep everybody warm. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cute. I love it, Sophie. It's adorable. Good. And it comes with a knife, too, to cut it. Well, isn't it a spooky thing? Yeah. Oh, that's a spatula. That is really cool. Aria's going to love that. But also, I got this. This was 20 bucks, and I couldn't find this anywhere else, and I needed it. So I could not find the two things that I need at any store that I went to. Even though my legs are already dead. Uh, the girls got just dan another Just Dance game. Gabby's so excited. Anyway, this is the thing that I need. I need like a nasal aspirator. I wanted this kind. You can hardly even find this kind anymore. They all have these other ones, like these electronic kind of ones. I wanted this, super easy. In fact, I thought that I would be able to find like a ton of these and I thought I'd be able to like just buy them and keep them. I thought they'd be like five to 10 bucks each and I could just buy them and keep a bunch of them so I don't lose them. 20 bucks and all I could find was one. So then the other thing that's in here, this is a whole little kit, but the other thing I needed is a thermometer. I could not find my little thermometer. So I got this thermometer. I hate it because it doesn't beep, which is so annoying. But anyways, I have a thermometer and the nasal aspirator that I need. And then it has like some other little things in here and some little cleaning cloths for the thermometer. And once you stick it up some goat's butt, you need to clean it before you use it again. We are at two, a little over two weeks until the first kid, until the first goat kids. Two weeks and then we have like a couple weeks after that than the next one kids. But yeah, two weeks until we get our first baby on the ground. Hopefully it all works out. I believe in us. I believe in us. I believe in her. Um, but I'm excited. I still have a few things to get. I got some scissors. I got some vet wraps and things that I needed to find around the house. I put them all in there today. Um, there's some other medication that I need to get. And there's like, I need a flashlight. We have a ton of flashlights around here. And I even have like the ones that go on your head. I need to pick, find that. There's a bunch of things that I still need to make a complete kit, but I am getting there. You guys, it is like, it's 5 p.m. and it literally is looking so bright outside. It is so mushy, it rained all day. Record breaking rain. I don't know why this is yellow though. Wow, everybody's excited. Oh, they're excited because Sophie's in there. She just loves Sophie. And we finally figured out what happened to the electric water. Apparently it, when it was really really cold air was going up underneath it and froze it it basically said that sam looked it up and it said that if it's fine after when it's not cold then it's probably frozen tomorrow i have so many things that i have to do tomorrow but i'm going to make the video about what other animals we're getting i am so excited to tell you what we're getting we've already ordered a couple of things oh, but here, we won't get them till spring oh, here, oh my gosh it's so nice 
That's it's so white. nice. Yeah. I think this is oil. I haven't looked it up, but I'm sure it is. She's so pretty. So let me go with you. Yeah, she just loves being held. No eggs? No. So I noticed it's a lot warmer in here now that Sam covered that and another window. But I think it leaks a little in here. Like, see at the door? Oh, you blend in with the thing. He's What's so he doing? Fat. He's so fat. Aww. I love it. He's pretty cute. So, uh, this is where he sleeps now. Do you see up there? That's his home. He He's got a blanket up there and a little bed. A little house to live in if he wants to. He doesn't want to go on grass. I feel like he's a lazy cat. Do you know why? All he does is eat and sleep. I feel like that's all he does is eat and sleep. Before, when we first brought him here, he used to like explore. I know, but and he's... now, through the winter, he <laughs> he's <laughs> belly. I know, but it's... Mostly, it's mostly fur, Sophie. The fans said it's not. It's mo he, he just looks it's like that. It's like 10% fur and 50% fat. No, 90% fat. Oliver, look at you, buddy. He looks like he just ate a mouse. All right, let's let these beasts in. So the new way that we do it now, Allie, get out of there, is we open all the doors. Watch out. We open all of them at the same time, and then we let them in, and they all know where to run. All right, here they go. You gotta know, get these dogs out or else yeah. someone's gonna go around. Preferably Molly, because she's done. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, darn it. That was not right. <laughs> Remember, you go to a different house now. Come on, you go to your other house. Come on, out. <laughs> out. You too. Out you go. Come on. Come on, little muffin. And this is not where you belong. Hold on. Oh my God, now they're both back. Ah, she's actually yeah. letting me catch her now though. Yeah, she's a lot like more pregnant. That was exhausting. Exhausting. So he always just throws the hay in here. And I'm like, I always sort it so that it's equal all along the top there because even though they're mother and daughter and they're good together, I always want to make sure that, like, they both can eat at this feeder. That boy, his horns are so sharp. <laughs> He's giving me three scars. Oh, my gosh. My sister's only giving me three. <laughs> See? One, Why does two, your sister give you scars? Um, because one time we dug our nails into each other, and... Why did you do that? Uh, we were fighting. You See, guys one, hardly two, ever three. fight. I know. That was actual hell. <laughs> I'm not joking. If um, they try to run from you, just grab their fur and just hold on tight. Sophie honestly has better, like, she can do them better than me. Yeah, hey, I'll babe. Take nails. Hello. Hello. So, my friend told me today I should get pregnancy tests for the goats because it will work on them. We're not going to try um, and find their pee. What if we get the boys? Yeah, I was thinking, like, a long time ago that would be interesting. But the thing is, is that with goats, they get pregnant so fast usually and also uh, door. but also our buck tells us if they're fertile so he always is the first one to let us know if they come back into heat and none of them have come back into heat so if they're not pregnant then there's something weird going on because they religiously come into heat if they're not pregnant Every, th every three weeks, rain or shine, and it has been months that they haven't come back into heat, so. Hates her stall. I know. They hate being locked in, but there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> She's so excited. Don't you know that you're beautiful?